Hi guys. All right, so here's the deal. You guys are about to start the second phase of your agmograph project. Now, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I know that's how it sounds it's spelled. So I'm going to pretend that that's right. So this is actually the result of the second phase. So this is my example when I finally got it finished. So here's the idea of an agmograph. It's a form of optical illusion art. And when you're all done, basically what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with an accordion folded fan. And what happened was, what we started with is a set of two drawings. So I asked you guys to come up with a warm color drawing and a cool color drawing. So when you guys had these done, the next step is to put them together. So you're going to need a couple of things to do this. So you're going to need from me, you're going to need a background paper. And I'll tell you, there's something special that happened with this background paper. You can see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 16 squares wide. Now, there's a significance to that. These ones are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 squares wide. But the idea is that this picture will be added on to this picture. But there's a problem. You notice I said there's 16 squares here, and there's 16 rows, or... 16 rows on this, but 18 rows on this. That means two of them have to go bye-bye. So you need to make sure that you choose one that's not too detailed in your artwork. So with mine, I chose this one because there really wasn't anything going on in this strip. So this strip, I just threw it out. So when I cut this out, and don't cut past here yet, but when you cut this out, this is the strip I want to be gone. Now, does it have to be from this particular side? No, it does not. You could have that be from the opposite side, too. So instead of this one, it could be this one. But on my picture, it works better just to have this one because it's just a little bit of something, and I can get rid of that. And my picture really doesn't change much. So I'm going to do the same thing here. This one goes away, so I'm not using this strip. This one is an extra. I did a little bit of trial and error and I figured out that this was my, the solution to my problem because I didn't think ahead to how big the paper was that could go through the copier to make those pages for us. So now if I take a look and I counted them, there'd be 16 here and there'd be 16 here. That's what I want. That's good. So I'm going to put these to the side for a minute. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what particular picture I'm going to start with. It doesn't really matter, but I need to figure out where I'm going to start. So on this one, I'm going to use the warm color picture first since it's the closest this way. It doesn't really matter otherwise. I'm going to take my scissors and carefully only cut one strip at a time. I'm going to ask you guys not to cut all of the strips at once. Number one, because if you cut all those strips and you don't get them all glued down, then you're going to lose them. And number two, because if you cut all those strips, you're going to have, instead of having just this to put together, you're also going to have a puzzle because you're not going to be sure which strip is which and you're going to lose track. Most of you will figure that out, but it takes time to do that. So you're going to save yourself time if you just do one strip at a time. So I'm going to use a glue stick. Don't put glue on early. Put it on exactly when you need it and no sooner. I'm going to line the corner up, line the edge up, and then press it down to make sure it's in the right spot. So picture number one had that strip, so I'm going to go flip to picture number two. So it's going to go a flip-flop, flip-flop. So it's going to have a warm and then a cool, and then a warm and then a cool, and then a warm and then a cool. So you're going to flip-flop back and forth. This one's going to come in. Take your time. Do a good job cutting. The more accurate you are with your cutting, and the more time you take to put things down in the right spot, craftsmanship, you guys, the better off is you're going to be because it's not going to fight you. The better you cut and the more time you take to make sure it's everything looks right and is lined up, the better it's going to look and the better it's going to work. So I'm doing this up and down here, taking this. So I'm going to line it up to this edge. Take this and swing it over to the corner here. Make sure everything's lined up down the side and press it down. So you can see I'm kind of having a double image right here. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go back to the warm picture, do one more. 
And when you're all done, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold this in an accordion fold. So I will show you that here in a second. But I will trim the bigger paper so that you don't have that extra going around. And once you have that extra paper all cut off, then you can kind of cording fold to it. So I'm going to stop right here, but you see the idea. I'm going warm, cool, warm, cool, and I'll keep going until I run out of picture. So I'm going to pretend that I have this all done because I technically do. <coughs> this one is my example one. So this one is all finished, so it would have been flat when I finished. So that's what they look like when they're all put together. And then your job is to accordion fold these as close to the seam as you can. That's trickier than it sounds. Mine's already been folded, so it's going to behave itself fairly well. Yours is not, so you're going to have to fight that a little bit. Remember, an accordion fold, you go up and then down, and then flip it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until you get the whole accordion folded. Mine's pre-folded, so it won't be so simple for you, but you can do that. Now, what an agmograph does, that fold is the trick. So if I look at it from straight on, you're going to see both pictures at once. If you look at it from this side, you're only going to see the warm color picture. And if you flip it to this side, you're only going to see the cool color picture. So as you walk by it in the hall, if you're coming from this direction, you'll start to walk by. And as you walk around it, it's going to change the picture. So that's the trick to that. So when you guys get done, follow the video if you need to pause it or replay any of it so that you can kind of go back and do the step again, that's fine. Just make sure that you are as accurate as possible when you are cutting and don't put your glue down earlier. It's gonna to dry too quick and it's not gonna stick. All right, we'll see you guys later. Please make sure that you are paying attention to your lines and we'll hopefully get some really cool projects out of this.